what's going on everybody it's your boy stats on silly back with another bang diddy bang diddy bang diddy bang 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 in video and on today's episode i'm gonna be doing a quick overview of the helix oss hx qd in 762 aka slash 300 blackout that is today's episode Alrighty, man. So let's jump right back into it. So here it is, man. This is uh, this is the Helix OSS HX QD in 7.62 slash 300 blackout suppressor can. This was actually loaned to the channel by my homie, the one and only armed and ordained. You know what I'm saying? He loaned us the channel, man. I'm gonna be also reviewing his bullpup rifle that he has in 300 blackout which is what he has this can attached to that's going to be the separate video to look out for that video but anyways um quick overview man i don't have any box i can't do an official unboxing he said he didn't keep the box i'm like bro you gotta keep the box and all his contents in case you ever try to sell man you know what i'm saying you can get a little bit more money you can get a, a little bit more money if you have the original box and contents and wrapping and on all that stuff man so make sure man hey a little pro tip man make sure if you, when you, whenever you guys buy any type of products, man, make sure you keep the packaging, man. Make sure you keep the boxes, all the original wrappings, because if you sell it, you might get a little bit more for it if you have all the original content. But anyways, man. All right. So right off the top, the Helix OSS HX HX QD in 7.62 slash 300 blackout. All right. So right off the top, man, it's it's not that heavy. It's actually it's actually pretty darn light. It's actually pretty darn light. For being a suppressor so the weight for this bad boy is 19.6 ounces man 19.6 ounces that's pretty decent for a suppressor the length of it is 7.2 inches man it's 7.2 inches long so this is what seven inches look like hey fellas <laughs> so the diameter circumference of it is 1.6 inches the finish is a c-series cerakote I mean, I don't know what C-Series is, but it's a C-Series Cerakote. That's the finish. It's a nice finish. It actually looks pretty good. Um, It doesn't prevent handprints. So if you're one of those people who worry about handprints all over your stuff, this is going to leave fingerprints all over your suppressor. So it's made out of 17.4 stainless and grade 5 titanium. 17-4 stainless and grade 5 titanium man that's what it's made of for you nerds out there man go ahead and google what you got to find out for the nerd specs of this thing man so this suppressor was was made with the military in mind i'm not saying that they made it specifically for the military but they made it specifically to meet the uh, the military's csass standards i mean and requirements just google see what csass is for military requirements <laughs> for you nerds out there i ain't no nerd man so i ain't going down that nerd rabbit hole man so hey like i said let's keep it moving so the oss helix suppressor man it has a patented flow through technology man after the round is fired expanding gas exits the barrel and enters baffle chambers as the hot gas fills each chamber it continues to expand until all the volume inside is consumed the hot pressurized gas contains the blast from the fired round as long as possible before the round exits the bore. This is how the sound is suppressed. However, physics being physics, that pressurized gas finds the path of least resistance out the front of the suppressor and down the barrel into the operating system. And they have that patented, so it must be some type of dope technology if they got it patented, man. So um, I can't wait to go out in the range to shoot it. I don't have much to say about it. Uh, Helix OSS, man, it's a good company. I never heard any. I've never heard any negative stuff from them. I've only heard good things from them. So um, I can't wait to go out to the range and shoot this thing. Uh, it's it, it's pretty nice, man. It's it's pretty nice. Uh, in the next video, when I do the the rifle Tavar X 
95 300 blackout 16 inch barrel so it's a bull pump rifle and that's what he has this uh, attached to where it's 300 blackout it has a qd system when you get the the muzzle brake the quick the qd muzzle brake system that you put on you know the, the end of your your barrel or whatever and it just and it just literally just screw it on there you just screw it in there as a matter of fact let me go on and grab that real quick i'm not going to show the whole rifle because you know i'm saying i'm waiting for the official review of the Tavar uh, X95 bull pump 300 blackout 16 inch rifle but I'm let me go on and grab that real <laughs> this is the end of the barrel right here and as you can see it has this QD uh, quick attach muzzle brake and you literally that's literally what you do man literally you literally just screw this on man and boom it's already on there that's it it's on there that's how that's how quick it is man you just then you take it off you just screw it off a couple turns and it's off man so that's how quick and easy the QD system is. It's already on there. The way how they have the the baffles in the suppressor is that every time you shoot it, the gas it's like the gas pushes and rotate the tube to tighten it down. So it's you don't have to worry about it getting loose. Every time you shoot it, the gas is gonna twist it. It's like a reverse twist uh, threaded. So every time you shoot it, it's gonna twist and lock it down. So you don't have to worry about it coming off, man. So that's pretty dope. Let me go ahead and take this off. All right, so so far overall, man, the aesthetics of it. I mean, it's pretty decent. Um, I don't know how I feel about the front, the little baffles in the front. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty. It actually looks pretty nice. It's nothing like I said. It's nothing special about it. You can see if you can, you can put that. See if I can push that in there so you guys can see. I mean, it looks pretty simple, man. You know, the crazy thing about suppressors, man, is that suppressors are super simple like i mean don't get me wrong i know it's 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 a lot of you know science and stuff going on in here it's a lot of technical stuff that's going on in here but in the reality man suppressors are really kind of simple as long as you know how to put them together and you know make it all work together to suppress the sound man i mean it ain't it ain't it ain't rocket science man but i can't wait to go out and shoot this thing i can't wait to see actually how suppressed it is uh, we're gonna try to put some we're gonna put some subs and then we're gonna push some supers on there and just see like if we can really tell the difference i don't i don't know if i'm gonna be able to have access to a noise you know to one of those noise meter thingies to measure the the the, the decibel readings and everything i'm not sure i might try to get one but don't quote me on that but yeah man here it is man like i said it's a helix oss hx qd 7.62 slash 300 blackout suppressor man here it is in all its glory like i said this is just a quick overview i'm sorry i don't have the box i don't have the wrappers i don't have everything that it comes with i'm gonna see if i can find some pictures <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can find some pictures online so i can show you what it looks like when you get it in the box and everything but i don't have any man my boy throw his packaging man i told him hey that's a no bueno man that's a no bueno man you gotta keep the packaging man when it comes to firearms and accessories man keep the packaging man keep the packaging it's just you know when you're trying to sell it just a better presentation man if you ever try to sell but anyways man um yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna drag this video out too long man like i said this is just a quick overview i don't have the box i don't have the contents in the box so i don't have much to talk about but just overall it looks pretty good um when you put it on, on the end of your rifle it, i mean it looks pretty decent there's a side shot that's what it looks like if you're in the business end you know what i'm saying this is the part that attached to your rifle. So I mean, it looks it looks pretty decent. The only thing that I don't like about it, and I will probably do the same thing, what I did to my suppressor on here, my Gem Tech, is I will put that um that that uh that paint type of Cerakote just so it doesn't leave the fingerprints all over it, man. Like when I touch my suppressor, you could touch it all day and it doesn't leave fingerprints because of the the paint that i have on that i put on the paint so it doesn't leave fingerprints but that's just me man that's just personal preference i don't like to pick up my gun i don't like to pick up my phone and i see fingerprints and streaks on it that's just me for those of you who's ocd along with me man if you if you part of the oc if you part of the ocd crew man hey what's up man <laughs> but um yeah so that's that's it for right now man i'm not like i said i don't have too much to talk about it's just a quick overview uh the next video of this we're gonna show you the tavar x95 300 blackout and we're gonna attach this to it and my next video is gonna be the review can't say unboxing because like i said he, he didn't bring me the box man he just brought me the rifle so i'm just gonna but anyways man here it is man uh like i said stay tuned for part two 
part two of the Helix OSS HX 7.62 <laughs> slash 300 blackout review, man. Stay, stay tuned for part two. Part two, we're gonna be on a range, and then I'm gonna have the you know the final in studio overview of it or whatever. But stay tuned for part two where we're on the range and we're shooting this thing live, man. But until next time, man. Until next time, man. Be greater than you were yesterday. Remember, you are your own first responder. We live to train because we train to live. Yo, Staff Sarn Sealy's out.